Today is Monday, April the 20th, and I'm going to walk you through your lessons today instead of just doing a, a video for you to watch me. We're going to kind of walk through this together. So I'm going to start today with science. And in science this week, you're going to be working with some more vocabulary that you used from last week. Your learning target, if you look up here, I can explain how energy is transferred. So by the end of the week, you're going to be able to explain how energy is transferred from one either position or one object to the other. I want to highlight a few of the words here. So this week you're going to see the word potential energy. Potential energy is energy that is not being used. So let's say that you're just standing still. If you're standing still, that is potential energy. You're not using it yet. But you're going to need it in order to make yourself move or an object move. In another word for it, is stored energy. It's energy waiting to be used. Let's go to the next one and look at kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is object that's being used when there's movement. So as I said, you have potential energy when you were just standing still. As you're moving and you're walking, you are using kinetic energy. So you're going to read through both of these today. And then on your work slide today, as you see, you're going, it says fill in the blank questions. You're going to do this on a Google Talk. It says down here at the bottom, make a Google document for this week's science to answer your questions and share with your teacher. So you're going to make a Google Doc that says science for the week April 20th through the 25th. And you're going to answer these questions. So let's look at this one. You see the arrow pointing right here. You have this roller coaster and it's moving up. And it's going to get right here. And it's going to briefly stop. You're going to talk about what kind of energy that is. And then you're going to talk about the energy that it's used when it starts moving down the track. So go back and really read those two definitions and decide how to answer these questions. Okay, so let's go back up here for Monday's reading. Please answer today's three more questions in your notebook. Check your, check your answers using the answer key. You're just going to use a blank piece of paper to do this. Most of you did not take your notebooks home, and that's fine. So you're going to read the following paragraph, and let's read it, read it together. Liam's mom told him he better come straight home from baseball practice today. Liam had been late several times, and his mother wasn't too happy about it. On the way home, Liam saw an elderly lady that had fallen and dropped her groceries. She was battered and bruised. He knew she should get home, but he decided to help her. As he made his way up the sidewalk, Mom was standing with her arms crossed and a stern look on her face. Once again, Liam told her what happened. She hugged him and told him she was proud of his decision. So let's look at this. The problem in the story is solved with Liam's mom. Here's the story. Helps the elderly woman, goes to baseball practice, or crosses her arm and frowns. Now, remember, when you're doing these kind of questions, you can always get rid of what you know it isn't. So, keyword here, solved. When the problem was, let's see if we can write this, fixed. Same thing as solved. All right. Now, was it fixed when she went to baseball practice? No. So that one stuck out at me, so I'm going to go ahead and mark that one out. Crosses her arms and frowns. No, that didn't fix anything, did it? So then I have, here's the story and helps the elderly woman. But we have to be careful at how you read this. Because, yeah, she was happy when Liam helped the elderly woman. But she wasn't there. So it's when she hears the story. So that would be your answer. All right. So you're going to, for practice, go ahead and do slide two and slide three. These are for practice to see how you're doing. You have your answers. On slide six, it says, read the passage on the next slide and answer the four questions in your notebooks. So you're going to watch the video on fact and opinion. Remember, a fact is something you can prove. An opinion you cannot prove. If I said everyone likes chocolate ice cream better, that would be an opinion because you cannot prove that everybody likes chocolate ice cream better. Some people like vanilla. Some people like strawberry. So that would be an opinion. All right, let's go to the next one. I can determine the difference between facts and opinions. You're going to read this passage called A Trip to the Beehive. And then you're going to answer the questions 
right here. There are four questions. This week, your exit slip document is in the slide. So all you have to do is click on exit slip document and answer those four questions. You probably still have the Lemonade Wars book. Keep reading that book. Spend some time reading. If you're not reading the book, you need to get Alexia and spend some time with your reading just to make sure you're building those reading skills. Next, we're going to look at math. Happy Monday. So let's have some fun to start off your day and week. So you're going to click on the less rates and do a little race and have a little bit of fun with that. After you're done with that, it says I can solve the area of a rectangle. So it gives you a list of what you're going to do. Watch the video, which we just talked about. Review the slides, complete activity, and then you'll have a math exit slip on the last so slide. That is exactly where you put your answer. So let's see. There is a video for you to watch, Math with Mr. J, that explains areas of rectangles. When you're finished, you're going to look at how to solve area. Area is just length times width. So let's look up here. If I have this big rectangle, I want to take how long it is times how wide it is to get my area. All right, here's a couple practice. There are the answers to your practice so that you know you're getting it right. And then you're going to do the exit slip. You will not do Empower this week. Last week we had some of you that said that you had a lot of issues with Empower. So we're not going to worry about Empower this week. You will continue writing today in your Google Doc on an opinion topic that you chose. And then you have two days to work on your vocabulary. So make sure that you're getting these things turned into me so I can go ahead and mark it off. And if you have any questions, reach out to me so I can help you. Go ahead and get started and I'll talk to you later.